Yeah, stay positive. Yeah, stay positive. Read the note. Hello and welcome back. We are here with more beautiful adventures. All right, normally I don't stream My Hero Academia. It's strictly over on Patreon early access than onto YouTube. But I'm currently doing a 12-hour stream, so I didn't want us to miss out on My Hero content. So we're doing it now. I, this is a one-time exception. Normally it's on Patreon on demand right away. But here we go. We're going to get this thing shebanging. We last left off with the villain snatching Kachan. Our baby's in the hospital. And now we're ready to fight back. I think. I believe. I don't know. We're kind of like wish-washing on the idea of what we should do versus what we shouldn't do. So let's see what happens. Okay. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm. Gwads. On top of that, if you want to see episodes early access, unfiltered, uncensored, uncut, you can check it out over on Patreon for just five bucks a month. But hey, no pressure. It's only if you feel like supporting the channel a little bit extra. Anyways, let's get into it. That's right. Oh, All Might did say that to you. <laughs> oh, God. Could you imagine being Deku's mom? Oh, I would I would have constant, constant emotional breakdowns. She already does, man. She's always crying and, like, using tissues and holding her baby. Like, it's so hard to see your little quirkless boy turn into an absolute goddamn menace, but also breaking his limbs and always being in pain and always being in harm's way. He's a baby. Oh my god, I would stress out so much. I have too much mom energy in me. Like, I'm so proud of this baby, but I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh my god. No! No! Oh, honey. Honey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, exactly. Ida had a point here. Yeah. Red Riot's like, I know, bitch, but still. Oh. It'd be really fucked up if he had dislocated shoulders so his arm actually couldn't reach out. That'd be, a, that'd be even more fucked up of a scene. <laughs> Is that too dark? You, your hand can still reach out. He can't reach his hand out. <laughs> so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A little goofy, silly moment. I need to break up the emotional part, okay? I need to break up. Because if, if I start crying, I won't stop. From Ida to Midoriya. That's how I work. Once you start crying, especially too early in an episode, I will not stop crying for the entire episode. So it's got to, like, we got to cut that shit out early. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So they have the re the receiver. The, they put they put the plant on one of the Namus, so they, they can track the Namu. Yeah, it is frustrating. It's true, it's true. Wow, well spoken, Shoji. <laughs> Can we talk about this motherfucker actually had a dope moment? And <laughs> like, who would have thunk it? Proud of you, man. Oh. Yeah, don't break the rules. Yeah, just because you feel like they're righteous, they also feel like they're righteous in their own weird, toxic ways. So yeah, don't be like that. Silence is deafening. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm wearing surround sound headphones, bro. That knock fucked me up, bro. I got scared. I got scared. Scared. It got me. It got me, bro. It got me. Oh, hell no. It's fucked up because I have like a window next to me. Right? I, I'm like I'm in da I'm like in a downstairs area. So like there's no doors. I'm like in a very open concept large area. So I thought someone was knocking on the window next to me. And I'm like, oh, this is a fucking horror movie. I'm dead. It's currently 3 30 in the morning. This is what death is. Sick. Okay. Like, my brain was not ready. <laughs> like, uh, oh my god, they can't take the hood out of me. 
<laughs> Which honestly, I had a horror. Okay, do you know what? Super side story, but I need to tell this, okay? Because it's going to be stuck on my mind if I don't bring it up. So my fiance was visiting and my mom and my fiance always have these conversations together and they're always taking each other's sides, all right? And then I'm always left out in the dark. So I opened up the curtain next to my computer desk and it was turning into nighttime, but I like looking at the pretty trees and the night lights and there's a train that passes by. And they were both like, Alicia, close the curtain. And I'm like, what? What's the big, I'm still awake. I'm just looking at the, like the pretty lights and stuff outside. And they're like, people will try to rob the house. I'm like, what? What do you mean they'll try to rob the house? And then my fiance goes, yeah, because they'll see the lights are on and then they'll realize that it's easier to break in when someone's there, especially if they have a gun. If the place is locked up, it's way more difficult for them. And I'm like, what? And like, yeah, especially when you're next to railroad tracks. That's like, <laughs> that's like the place. to. <laughs> and then they both, they both start to go way too in depth about the logistics and different logistics of how it would work. And I'm just there like, oh, yeah, that's cool. We're just going to explain this to someone with anxiety. You couldn't just be like, oh, I would really like if you close the window, if you close like the, if you close the, the curtains. If they just asked me a second time, I would have been like, oh, sure. You know what? No problem. If you just don't like it open, you don't like it open. But no, they were like, this bitch got anxiety. Let's tell her that people are going to come get her. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> And then my mom ended it. My my parents are super funny. Don't worry. This is not toxic. This is just them being funny. And my mom goes, if someone broke in, what are you going to do, Alicia? Huh? Huh? Nothing. You can't even walk. <laughs> I go, oh, mama, no. <laughs> mama, no. <laughs> I was like, I'll beat their ass with my walker. Mama, no. <laughs> And that's, that's all I could think of when that when that thing knocked and I thought it was my window. I was like, "Shit, mom was right." <laughs> okay. あと。夜夜ずには昨日話。お。行くならそこ。今晩だ。重傷のお願いを受けるかは知らねえ。それでもさ。We oh. still want to invite you. Don't go, Deku. Deku, don't do it. Ida, Ida, talk to Deku. Ida, talk him out of it. Ida, Ida. The title of the episode is Ida to Midoriya. You better walk your ass back in there. Oh my God, look at his arms. Look how she, oh my God, my baby. Look at his arms. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. ピッタンがかかってんのね。でも、危機的状況に陥った時、リミッターはず。火事場のバカ力ってやつ。Oh my god, my poor baby broke through his limiters and used his hysterical strength in this moment because he was he was going through it. My little baby has trauma in his bones. He's got trauma in his broken bones. He's a baby. The show is just a bunch of babies with powers. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm stressed. <laughs> It would to protect the joints that are deteriorating badly. Oh my god. If you can keep it the same way two or three more times, you'll live without being able to use your arms. Holy shit. Two or three more times. And you won't be able to. Deku, you need to level the fuck up, bro. We need to like we need to figure some shit out because this is this is insane. We cannot we cannot. You are a baby. You have baby arms. Baby arms. We cannot. No. We need to figure out something fast. I can't. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, rehabilitation. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, stay positive. Yeah, stay positive. Read the note. It's Koda. Koda wrote him a letter. Sorry, I punched you in the balls. It's Koda. <laughs> thanks, Koda. Next time, don't hit me in the fucking nards. But thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Deku, I need you to not go out. I need you to not go out and try to fight villains. I need your mom to have a talk with you. Oh my god. Just eat your apples at home like a good boy. Just eat your apples at home like a good boy. Please, please, I'm so stressed. That's such a fair question, though. That is such a fair question for the mom to ask, okay? I understand that, like, it's who he wants to be. It's what he's always dreamed of. I know it's, like, a part of his identity. And, like, she literally sobbed when she realized she couldn't give that to him because he didn't have a quirk originally. But, but imagine seeing her be... I'm starting to cry. Oh, fuck. I can't just imagine. But you have a baby, and the baby's getting hurt. And it's so hard. But I'm okay. It's just like, why the... And you just want the baby to stop hurting. The only way you can think of them is to stop hurting. And so stop making this choice. But it's their choice to make, because you can't force your child to give up on their dreams, you know? You just have to ask them, like, is this the right thing? Because otherwise, the life will resent you. And, like, and it's like you have to make that hard decision. Do you let your child hate you and force them not to? Or do you let them make the decision for themselves? And if they choose, like, to keep going and hurt themselves, like, are you going to be okay with that? Are you going to live with that? Or are you going to regret it and be like, I should have stopped it? <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> This is why I don't watch my hero on stream, okay? Because this happens to me every time. They're babies, okay? They're babies. What's up, Endeavor? What's poppin'? Oh. Oh. Edge shots in the opening. Gang, Okra! Gang, gang! That's right. Oh, shit, that's the homie. I call him Jet because that's what his quirk name is. Don't fucking judge me, okay? I know it's Gran Torino. I just don't want to say the long-ass name. That's Tiger! That's my baby girl! I always just call the other guy the, the tree guy and then mountain lady. <laughs> I, don't, I never knew his name was Kamui. Okay. I hope to fuck she made them a fake one that doesn't actually lead to the villains. I hope to God she did that just to protect her friends. Because these are babies! They should not be going out there, especially after they just got the asses beat. Please let me think about it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, damn. Oh, she looks sketchy. Oh, she brought Deku! Don't do it! Oh, my heart. He's like, you stopped me when I acted, like, crazy. <laughs> and, like, I want to return the favor for you, basically, is what he's doing here. He's like, you guys are acting out of pocket. I gotta be the one to do this for you guys, because you did it for me. I know that makes me a hypocrite, but I gotta do this. Oh, Ida, please! 
That's right, why are you trying to make the same mistake I did? Exactly, tell him. You're not a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> this child is injured. You can't just fucking rock him, sock him like that. That's a baby. Holy shit, Ida. I know you're the same age as him, but you can't rock his shit like that. In the middle of him talking, he didn't even brace himself. <laughs> he just got out of the hospital. He got released today. He literally got released tonight. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> That's hard as fuck. He said, he said, I'm frustrated too. Bam! <laughs> Just friggin' rock him something. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the affection into you. I'm gonna beat the love into your goddamn brain. Yeah. Good point. That's a good point. Once your bodies become irreparable, you're just children. Right? Like my brother's because your recklessness. Yeah. Like his brother's like low key, just not like he on life support for real. He is an assisted living for like hella hard. Like they got him on breathing tubes and nonsense. Right? And Kachan got stolen. We are not playing games of villains and heroes. <laughs> heroes and villains. I mean, technically we are, but like, you know, fuck me. Am I right? <laughs> my bad. That's a terrible example and I rolled with it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you don't care about my worries? Oh, don't play the song. Don't play the song. Oh, don't play the song. I'm not ready to hurt this way. Ida, punch him back, Deku. Punch him back, Deku. I need you to punch him back. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? That's their plan? Shut up. No way. I'm sorry, you're taking Red Riot Todoroki? <laughs> like, like, Momo, great. She's good for a covert mission. Momo, perfect. These two? Covert? Alright, All right, let's see what happens. Alright. Alright. Yep. <laughs> hey, punch Deku again. You'll feel better. <laughs> I'm sorry. The way he punched him so cold-blooded is so crazy. Oh my god, my poor sweet baby boy Deku. He did not deserve that. He already going through it physically. Top <laughs> hero And that's what you've always been, Deku. That's what you've always been. Oh, he said, I... I really thought he was going to be like, I, you want to go? Got to go through me or something. But nope, he wasn't corny like that. He was like, listen, if you're going to do this, I'm coming to you. Like, I'm going to be there. Oh. Dude, I just, oh, I, I feel like, I feel so fucking scared. They're just babies. It's such a bad decision. It's such a bad decision to go. Oh, I'm so stressed the fuck out. They got the heroes of heroes, though. They got squatted up, for real. They got all my and endeavor. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was crazy. This motherfucker really said, if you're gonna talk in your sleep, you shouldn't, you should just go to sleep and die. <laughs> like, for once, whatever Bakugo says when he tells people to like kill themselves or die or whatever the hell he says because he's too edgy, actually works because he's talking to villains. <laughs> so we'll take that instead of talking to his friends. <laughs> All right.
Fair enough. This is the time where using that language is appropriate, Bakugo. Go ahead. This is the time. <laughs> Likes reading. Boo! Likes meat. W! <laughs> Look at all these babies. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to be a kangaroo and put them in my pouch and hold them. I just want them to be okay. I'm sorry. I'm just going through it. <laughs> Oh, damn, he bowed even deeper. That's a sign of respect. Yeah, Watchman Ida. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> He's a narc. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, if you go make trackers from scratch, I feel like we could make cuter trackers. This little look kind of boogity. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too judgy. <laughs> it's fine. No, Momo, they're not going to think that at all. These are a bunch of fucking meatheads. They're going to see a problem and try to punch it. <laughs> They're not going to see how unrealistic it is. They're going to see their friend. Oh my god, look at these good boys eating. They're eating some lunch. I love these good boys. I'm sorry, they're just babies. I'm just, I'm just so happy with them existing. If any of them die, I'm going to fucking scream. Alright, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would feel that way. Like, oh, don't make me cry. You can't keep showing me that. <laughs> I'm a bean. I'm a bean. I'm a bean. I can't handle. <laughs> That's right, it says All Might chose me. I can't turn back. And if he dies, his mama gonna lose his shit. But too good. It's so good that at the beginning of like the, the anime like arcs and stuff, you always see like Deku being like, that's how he became the strongest hero. So you know he gonna live. Because if he died and that mama cried over his death, I could never watch this anime again. Like that sweet little mom with her little cute round chubby cheeks deserves the world and more, okay? Because she's such a real one. Oh. Speeding in the fast lane, pedal to the flow, me and trying to get back to her love. Yeah, we gotta be incognito mode, you know what I'm saying? Like when you're browsing the hub. You ain't trying to do that shit on the main browser. What the fuck you doing? You, come on. Yeah, the villains know what we look like. We gotta be, like, more inconspicuous. Oh, wait. is she gonna create us costumes? Is she gonna create us different outfits and shit? Is she gonna... Are she gonna pimp out our ride? Are we gonna look different? Disguises? Disguises? She can make us disguises. That's making you stand up more. <laughs> That's making you stand up more. Come on, Deku. Hold together. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Burn it. Holy shit. No. No, we're good without that one. That one, we're good without. No. Nope. <laughs> Don't. Don't put sunglasses on the emote. Don't put still act like the... No, this is not a vibe. This is not it. This is not it, bro. This is not... Actually adorable. 
He's just a baby in a little vest and chain. It's kind of funny to see his hair poke out, but like, look, he's just a little vest and chain. Todoroki. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> she learned this from Snake, 100%. She learned this. Okay, Ida switched up hella hard. Ida looked like a grown ass man who works at, like, well, what the fuck just happened to Ida? Ida's completely different. <laughs> what the fuck happened to him? <laughs> they just brushed his hair down. <laughs> That's all they and gave him some fake horns. Like that, this is not much of a change, right? <laughs> like compare Ida's drastic change to this. There is, come on, man. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's acting like a belligerent drunk. Holy, he's really in character for sure. Listen, if I was like five two. And a drunkard? <laughs> I think I'd be that mad. <laughs> Not Ida saying that. Ain't no fucking way Ida just said that. They really get into character, huh? He said, Ida said with his whole ass chest, There's some mommy milky buzzing good bold over the shoulder, bold hold is over there! Like you, what? Sis, what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> this innocent rich girl just wanted to go inside donkey donkey right yeah that's exactly what it was she just <laughs> She just wanted to go shopping. She just wanted to go inside a, a cheap store. It made her happy. Okay, let her go inside a cheap store. She's too rich. <laughs> Mofaka, if you start calling your house an estate, you got too much money. That's the rule. If your house is an estate, no. No, I don't want to fucking talk to you. That's too much money. Unless you're willing to donate. Feel free to give subs, donate to the channel, or become a part of the Patreon. All right, Patreon gets early access to videos unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut. All right, always be plugging. Always be plugging. W. Oh, a press conference. Holy shit, a racer head looks completely different when his hair is like pulled back and shit. That's crazy. Oh shit, good question. Yeah, what are some countermeasures you're taking? They are, they're questioning their decisions, yep. This is exact this is exactly this is exactly what Stain was like putting into the minds of people, right? And then what like on top of all that, what Hansi is monopolizing on, the distrust, sowing distrust in the people and realizing that, like, that's how you truly fuck up a society, right? Is Your heroes are not, not, if they don't save the people that they're supposed to protect, then what are they really here for? What are they doing? Are they really heroes? Are they really, truly altruistic? Making the people doubt makes them lose their faith. And what do they start to place their faith into next, right? What has consistency? What can they do? Do they place it into fear? Which is, I guess, like, oh, it just so many moral questions and dilemmas. They're not being protected at all. Oh, 
Oh my god, babies. Oh. That's fair enough. You know what? Fair enough. Because it's like, hey, if you have to receive compensation for being a hero, are you really doing it for doing it for true altruistic reasons? Are you doing it for your own benefit? And that was Stain's teachings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are not going to convince Kachan this way. I'm going to be honest with you. I think they're they're extremely underestimating Kachan's resolve in being a hero. Because Kachan really wants to become a hero. He wants to become the number one hero. And that doesn't he doesn't take that lightly. Like, I, I just don't think he's going to switch up. He is a... Uh... He's not gonna switch up. He a real one. He goes, twice you do it. Someone else do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're not just a mob trying to kidnap... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not just a mob trying to commit crimes. We're just here to steal children. Okay, but with a purpose. But with a purpose. Like, okay, villains, relax. Okay? It don't sound good, whichever way you cut it. Right? <laughs> yes! Punch him. Oh, fuck yeah. The hand fell off, the hand fell off, the hand fell off. <laughs> That's right, that's my boy. That's right, that's right, Kachan. Yep. Oh, the thing about this too is that he's like his his whole idea like Hansy just wants to kill All Might. He just wants to beat All Might. That's all he wants. So bringing up All Might this way is gonna like trigger him. And also the hand fell off his face. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, father. Uh oh, is that his daddy's hand or something? Oh, that got creepy. Oh, that got creepier than I thought. Okay, well, thank you for watching YouTube. For those of you guys over on Patreon, stick around. We'll talk with the episode more. For those of you guys over on YouTube, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.